All right, guys, well, look here. We are at a property in an area where I know the signal is bad. So what we're doing, have a coworker, deer lease. He's not from around here. He's having problems with some pigs. Not seeing a whole lot of deer. So I'm, hey, I'll bring the trap over. We'll get him caught. But we got to do some reconnaissance, right? Got these cellular trail cams, and I've had it out for two days now. I know it's not sending me pictures because they came over to clear the road so we can get the trap in later. Well, I'm sure it's a signal issue. This area here where I'm at, I know it really well. We just, we don't have hardly any cell service here. So I'm having to do it the old way, switch out the SD card. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera and uh, to a different location. Sometimes that helps, but I'm pretty sure this is a very weak spot. We may have we may have to do something a little bit different there. I'm gonna get this unloaded. We're gonna get down in there and uh, see what we can figure out. So I wanted to show you guys something real, just real quick. Make sure I don't get snake bit. Give me a second. I'm almost there. Quick scan, nothing. All right. There's the truck. There's the highway. Right there. Fresh sign right there. Right at the front of the mud hole. Fresh sign. At first, I thought it was them coming through here with a four wheel, but it's not. You get down here and you look and you see everything that's going on. It's just pigs watering and, and they haven't done a whole lot here. They've just done some rooting and a little bit of rooting there. But uh, I'm going to get back here. It's a mess. Hoping it's uh, straight back. I'll take it. I have taken. I've taken the wrong trail because they still got a lay down right there. He said that they. Uh, they opened it up all the way to where I needed to go, so I missed the turn. There's some thick woods back here. Was much easier getting to than the uh, other way before <clears throat> excuse me the other way before they had uh, something been in here too before they got the road cleared so something's been eating I don't know what it is but let's uh let's check this out real quick I'm just looking for snakes they're everywhere it says it's on what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to weed eat this real quick. And uh, it's just going to help when I put the trap out. And then I'll turn it back on. But I, I think I'm still going to move it. Probably be a good idea. So I'm not going to film me weed eating. Just want to get this done. Get out of here. It's actually really pleasant right now. Yesterday we had record breaking temperatures here in the... Uh, south man i tell you i worked a little bit out it yesterday for about five hours and it was rough i mean we're talking 104 107 i've got some trail cam picks that said 118 one said 122 now that's direct sunlight you know on the camera itself so but uh we did have a heat index of 115 yesterday all right i'm gonna knock this out real quick all right as you can see i've i've cleared out an area for where the trap would be um it's not perfectly level in here that's kind of one of the key things we need for the trap but uh, we may be able to make it do we just have to see if we have a bunch of little ones or all big pigs or just singles but anyways i've moved the camera from over there it's right here on a smaller tree hoping that i can get a better signal maybe the the antenna was blocked by you know big tree i went ahead and pulled the card put a new one in 
the camera will still take pictures and record them on your SD card it just won't send it if it doesn't have a good signal so I'm hoping we've got I know we got something I've seen something what looked like had been feeding in there maybe it's pigs probably coon or deer but anyways all I need to do is turn this on and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here I'm gonna walk in front of it get a couple of test picks uh, maybe it'll send it out we're gonna go home check the camera uh, check the SD card see what we got if all this doesn't work I have one other option I haven't considered but uh, we may put an external antenna on this thing uh, kind of like the one that's on the hog trap if you've been following along, watching any of the hog videos maybe some of the setup you see a a high gain directional antenna I know that would work out here but it's pretty thick I mean this is it's due for a thin cut so anyways I'm, I'm rambling let me get out of here and uh, let's go see if we got some pictures well all right phase one is completed phase two is in action got to get uh, just a little bit more corn out we're gonna bring the uh, trap back tomorrow and set it up. So, begin unloading, get back there, talk to you a little bit more about phase one, and then get out of here. All right guys, so like I said, phase one is complete. Phase one, basically, you're you're going to a property that has hogs or has had have had history of hogs. In this case, the landowner the, that leases this land for hunting, hunting season's not far away from, from coming. He was having issues not seeing a whole lot of deer during the season. Well, my suspicion is that he has a lot of hogs. And uh, he's not from this area. He's from northern Mississippi. Well, you think, okay, Mississippi has a ton of hogs. Well, they do. But in the area he was in, they hadn't, per se, have gotten to his area and really messed him up. Now, you guys know David Ellis with uh, the Yacht Yacht. I mean, he's in, I think he's in more of the middle area of Mississippi. I really don't know where he's at. He catches a ton of hogs. Of course, he's been around doing this for a long time. He's got his name out there. So anyways, I'm gonna help this hunter out. Uh, he's actually a coworker of mine. And uh, this is this is a, uh, bugs are getting me. It's 90 something degree out here. This is a free job. And, uh, but I'm wanting to help educate him. And I got to thinking about that. I'm not really doing a good job of educating y'all and what I want to try to do is teach you guys a little bit more as I film these and we do this for fun and uh, as a side hustle that being said this one's free once you guys hit that super thanks show me some love and uh, I appreciate that but anyways enough jibber jabbing let me kind of give you a brief and then we need to put out some more corn because tomorrow or maybe this afternoon we're going to bring the trap back and get it uh, going for phase two. All right, let's look at this real quick. So this is an area where he normally has his feeder at. And uh, you can see it's over there off the side. I had to move my camera uh, because I wasn't getting a very good signal over there. Um, his box stand is right back there, about a little over 100 yards and uh he always has a hog issue now there is this property is thick and really wet so we're scouting right we have a known area bring a, a camera out cellular camera that way you don't have to come check all the time this area here i mean they've been rooting and stuff um it's all wet back in through here in this thick area i've got an idea at that point all right let's go ahead and set it up right here so what we did is we brought out some of that donated corn, old nasty smelly, and uh, they've been hitting it pretty hard. So what I'm gonna do is, that's really in a bad spot, so I'm gonna move the corn more over here to the center. The trap will take this area up and we'll get it set up hopefully this afternoon. I don't put hardly anything in it. The corn's already rotten. Uh, David Ellis, he, he puts a little uh, sweetness smell to it I don't I don't use that um, one I'm not they don't sponsor me Two, it's already rotten so it stinks they found this in just a couple of days it didn't take long let me get the corn over here and let's get out of here we really don't need to be in here and uh, causing a bunch of issues all 
All right, corn is out. It is ripe. It is hot out here. Let's get out of here so we're not making a whole bunch of ruckus. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna hide the players off in the woods because I gotta bring the hog trap back. So let me get you caught up. We've got pigs coming in, and uh, this is the person that has the, the lease to the property. And what we're gonna do is, this is gonna be set up for phase two. We're gonna get this trap set up. I may just be, now that I look at it, it might be just a little off. We're gonna get this set up, get ready for phase two. I'll talk to you a little bit here soon. It's gotta be 120 degrees, minus about 10, and uh, we are we are hurting it's very hot so we got the trap put up i think i've got everything set i did i skipped one step and i'm trying to teach you guys something but i'm i'm, I'm also we're going to let this soak a lot longer normally i wouldn't put these three panels up right here i'd leave this open just for the doors let them get used to coming in well They've been coming for about three or four days now, pretty good on the corn. They know corn is in there. We've got to work this weekend, so we won't get off till Monday morning. We don't plan on trying to catch them for another week. So this is gonna give them plenty of time to uh, get conditioned to the phase two part. Phase two would have been, leave those doors off, let them come in three times, come put the gates up. And then phase three would be, to do your head count and catch them. So we're gonna pick up on phase three. Uh, we're gonna go put out another camera on the other part of his lease, see what other, if there's some more sounders and stuff. I think I've got the camera set right. Uh, I've had a few pictures, but my phone don't have a good signal, but the high gain antenna is sending them out. So we're gonna run up to the truck, get some more water. I'm completely drenched. How you feeling? Drenched. He's drenched, we need more water. So we're gonna roll that way. Alright guys, well today is uh, time to take care of the piggies. We dropped the gate about 4.30 this morning. Uh, we have been up since yesterday. We worked last night. Got some newbies here. They're going to learn how to handle pigs and uh, see what it's all about. Got the family up and it's probably 6.30 this morning. But anyways, this is phase three. Got them all conditioned, located, and we trapped them last night. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back here. We're going to take care of, I'm going to get a little footage, then we're going to take care of the jumpers. Let's go back there. So he came out, but I had a bunch of bushes that I had to shoot through. And I'm trying not to hit my trap. So I'm hoping I got a bullet in him. It's a long trail that goes that way. 
we'll see. We're going to go down there real quick. to the right. See that bear right there? The, the graze that one right there. This one in the back. He can almost jump out. He's aggressive. This one. That one right there coming at us right there. That one right there. That's the, that's the, that's the aggressive one. All right, guys, we got them all. It was 25 total. So far, it's the biggest catch we've had. I'm gonna get yelled at. I'm gonna get comments. I'm gonna get the haters. The one that was on the outside, could not see it. I had a horrible signal trying to drop this gate. I've already moved this uh, antenna's a directional antenna. This is the second time trying to find a better signal. So anyways, as that hog over there cleared, that gate i had already pushed the button it sends the signal it was a delay two to three seconds that's about the time i seen that hog coming around it ran off that's not a whole sounder catch but this is a pretty big whop on this property right here it's really going to help them using these pocket drags uh you can see that they're big cables and stuff your big cables right here cinches up put it on there you can drag it by hand drag it by hand but we're going to drag it with a machine that's they're that strong that one there i'm probably going to back up and fix it we're going to drag them off we got them taken care of we just got to fix the uh trap plug the power back up and that's it so what do you think about that it's cool <laughs> shooting is one of my favorite part what about catching them um grabbing their heart their legs and using them as wheelbarrow was fun <laughs> <laughs> how about how about when when it charged you um that was fun kicking them <laughs> <laughs> thank you got your home Trevor dad <laughs> thanks so yeah. all right guys i appreciate y'all watching y'all hit the subscribe 
like, share. Most of all, come be a part of our family. We appreciate you.